What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be breaking down Skyweaver for you. Skyweaver is a Web3 trading card game. You build decks, you try and get your opponent's hero down to zero health. Very standard affair in that regard. However, it has a very interesting mechanic that was daunting to me at first, but now I actually love it. And that is that each creature can have spells and enchantments equipped to them. And you can spend your mana from those spells as well, not just from your hand. So I'm actually going to break down an entire game for you guys. I'm going to walk you through every move I'm making, explain what everything does, how it all works, and help you guys get your feet wet and dive in to the world of Skyweaver. All right, so first up comes the mulligan phase. And in this game, if you're going second, you see seven cards. If you're going first, you get to see eight. And for beginners, it actually highlights the cards that it kind of suggests you take. As you get better, you can kind of realize, like, oh, actually, I really like Strike Down. I'd rather have Get em Gang late game. This is a phenomenal card no matter what. I love this. I love Sidekick as well. And now the question is, what do we want to take the, our final card? Five mana is kind of a lot to be taking in the Mulligan. One mana, flexible card. We'll go Get em Gang. It's very flexible, you can play it at whatever mana you want, and it's basically just a big front line. Alright, so because we're going second, we just get one mana crystal. My opponent gets one in hand, and one attached to the hero. The way that that works is you just drag it off whenever you want to play it. And then other creatures and stuff can also have spells and enchantments equipped on the actual cards themselves, which is pretty cool. We'll see one of those in just a bit. First, let's see what we're going to do here on this turn. Don't love wasting a sidekick here. Get him, gang. Feels pretty weak, but we're going to do it. Give ourselves a 2-3 frontliner on turn one here. The reason I don't want to give myself this 2-3 frontliner is this one comes with Banner. And Banner, as we're about to find out... Well, in this case, actually, we'll save the, we'll save the Banner guy. All right, so in this case, with stealth, you can't actually attack this guy until you damage the enemy hero first. We have a blitzer, so we can actually go ahead and use our mana crystal, smack our opponent in the face, and now we can play our blitzer. He's got dash and guard, and now we can kill that. And this takes no damage because it also had shield, which it no longer has a shield, so you can't see it anymore. But this guy has a shield as well. You can see it in the upper middle right of the card here. And now he's playing the dude with the shield. You can see the shield goes away. He killed my guy. All right, so if we had a creature on board, this would deal three. So we could play like sidekick. All right, I like this. I like Oliphant into strike down, deal three damage. And now we can swing face. And we're just trying to bring his health down to zero before he gets my health to zero. If you attack a creature, you do take damage. Heroes stacking each other don't take damage. Um, or even creatures attacking your opponent's hero does not take damage. So we could give it plus one, plus one, and give it shield. It'd be a one, five. It's not enough to deal with this. Claw swipe is better as a board wipe, but there's not much we can do here. All right, this does three damage total. If we go here, it gives me a one five with shield, brings it down to a two two. And then banner is really cool, ups your hero's attack. So suddenly we have two frontliners. We kind of have a weak-ish board, but we have a big board. It doesn't kill our frontliners. Breacher is huge. It gives all my frontliner guys plus one, plus one, sunset at the end of my turn, at the end of each turn, uh, each of my turns. So forever, all my frontliners, as long as this big 4-8 is on board, going to cause problems. However, he does have target ally unit attacks a random enemy. That's a little annoying, but not too annoying. We can actually just kill this because we have Banner. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to keep this board strong because Breacher is now going to pump these at the end of the turn. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. 
We have a bunch of frontliners in this deck. This whole deck is basically just guards. As we keep getting more and more guards out, they kind of synergize with each other in this deck. He had brought this down to a 0-4, and it's now a 2-6. You know, he thought he made it worthless, but he did not. It does kill off my other frontliners with a big, expensive spell. And he equipped what looks like a spell, but it's an enchantment to my creature. So we can spend three mana to just drag this off here, and then we can attack with it. And that would leave us with four mana, which is not great. The alternative is pretty nice. We could play Shogun into Rumbo, which would make this a 4-4. Four, four. This would become a 5-7. I'm going to do it. We're all in here, which is not great if our opponent has a big board wipe. He just used a big board wipe, though. So I'm kind of banking on him being out of big board wipes. He does have six cards in hand here. Okay, no big board wipe. And we have Claw Swipe, which right now looks disgusting. These have both have stealth, so he thinks they're safe. We have to attack his face. And then because they both have blind, uh, they can only attack the rightmost enemy, which is his hero. You can see it highlights this. Claw Swipe is going to come out of nowhere to him, and he's going to be very sad. All of his stuff is dead. Uh, and then we can also play this. It does draw him a card, which I don't love. But it's going to get that plus bonus from Breacher. So let's do it. And I'm not going to be concerned about his little 1-2. It does have Wither, which is a cool effect. Uh, wither, when this damages a unit, it loses that much power. So he just drew some cards. That means he's digging for something to deal with all this big board. He gets a frontliner, but that's not going to be enough. That's a pretty big frontliner, though. Four, six. We can do six. Seven. We can only do seven damage next turn, probably. He didn't kill this, though, which is insane. So this actually has a spell equipped. Dust your hand. Draw a card for each card in the enemy hand. So we could play this first as well, and then just draw four cards for four mana, which is insane. Um, every time he plays something, an earth card, he, this gains one power, but we're going to probably just kill it. The question is, do we play this? I don't know if we need a 3-3. Three, three. I'd actually rather just draw cards and then see what we get. Wow, we got something that does five damage. Oh, Stomp actually just straight up kills this, and now it's lethal. Huge. Let's go. Whew. So there you have it. A, an easy game. We had a lot of frontline synergy, guard synergy, aka. And we got to see what enchantments are, you got to see what spells are, you can drag them off. Match completed. I can't play them anymore, unfortunately. Alright, so after a match, you get your XP, you get your rank. And then you also level up in the battle pass, whether or not you pay for it. There's free tiers and there's non-free tiers. And you can see the sky pass here. I've unlocked a bunch of free cards. And like at level 50, there's like, you know, card backs and stuff, which are pretty cool. They are NFTs. There's uh, emojis, which are kind of like stickers. Yeah, they call them stickers. They're emojis. They're NFTs as well. Some of these cards are actually silver cards and those are tradable. There's also quests you can do and gain XP from those. They're daily. These just rolled out today. Before we wrap up today's video though, real quick, I gotta give a big shout out to Aqua.xyz for sponsoring today's video. Aqua is the best marketplace for NFT gaming. They've got all kinds of great games like Gods Unchained and Skyweaver as you just saw in today's video. They also have a bunch of other games Immortal game I play on a daily basis. Illuvium looking phenomenal. They got a bunch of stuff on here. So make sure you check out aqua.xyz, bookmark them, and now back to the video. And that's it. Those are the basics of Skyweaver. It's a bit daunting at first when you just jump in, but if you just play some starter decks at first, get the hang of it, it's actually really simple once you start playing. I've been loving it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.